welcome back to Psalm 2. Um, we have Greg Legatech here of Salome, Chicago, as well as Super Jessica of Cream Wine Company. Something with tequila um, coming from making Italian cured meats, I was thinking, okay, well, what would be something that would be a little bit richer, a little bit deeper that I could pair with um, a great tequila? And so I thought Spanish chorizo. I know it's not Mexican chorizo, but Spanish chorizo we have um, a blend of smoked Spanish paprikas that we toast to release the oils and it gets a little bit richer than our, our various other salami and then the andouille. Um, also in Spain they have sobresada which is similar to the mm -hmm. andouille. Spicy, has a lot of wine in it, has a lot of peppers in it so I was thinking okay these two salumi would pair well with the, um, with the various tequilas. Having not tried the arete wine um, I'm very surprised and astonished how amazing it is, and it's awesome. going to be uh, difficult to just find, just say, okay, the chorizo pairs only with the añejo or the extra añejo or the repo. For sure. But um, I think we should try them, and then we can decide for ourselves. Please okay. grab one of those slices. After you. Thank you. Super Jessica. <laughs> Thank you. Pleasure. <laughs> Hungry now, it's... I know. So, um... <clears throat> Whether it's wine or tequila, it's... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, pork, uh, Trapani Sicilian sea salt. Our pork wow. comes from Pennsylvania. It's free to roam certified, non-GMO, heritage breed, Duroc and Berkshire. Um, this is uncured, so it doesn't have um, any uh, nitrates in it other than right. celery powder. Um, okay. So very simple. If you look at our brand, it's maybe four or five ingredients, but yeah. Fantastic. It smells great. Tastes great. There's a good amount of smoke in here. At the same time, there isn't, there isn't, you know, an, an exuberant amount of spice, which is right. kind of cool. I like mm -hmm. that. You know, it's more on the smoke side. Um, I mean, my, my gut instinct is reposado. I was going to say the same. That's what I was thinking too. Boom. Really? Done. <laughs> awesome. All right. <laughs> no, that's, I agree that's because perfect. it's not overpowering. So we're the only facility in the U.S. that doesn't use any sugar or dextrose. What that makes it is a little bit softer and not very sour, tangy, or acidic. So it is a little bit softer on the palate as far as the taste goes. It's, it's not soft. overwhelming. Yeah. And so it might be lost in the añejo or extra añejo. Should we pour a little reposado right now so we can? Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm the finisher. I need a little upper. <laughs> Just a splash. I, I apologize on the pores. It's, oh, it's, there it's we fine. Go. That's what we should be doing, right? <laughs> right. Thank you. You're welcome. So. Oh, yeah. It brings out a little bit of the spice on the finish there. Mm -hmm. But I think the ripeness and the roundness really balances out the richness of the salumi, right? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I think so. I think it's they're both very um, soft yeah. in their flavors. So one doesn't cancel out the other. I think they complement each other. That's a that allows me yeah. to. That's pretty. That's pretty damn. Pretty pretty yeah. damn it's, spot it's on. Spot on. Yeah. Yeah. It's, I like it when pairings don't like one thing doesn't mute the other. Like pops, right? Yeah, exactly. Cool. Okay. So Blanco would have been. Blanco, 